today I'm going to show you something kind of useful if you have a Mac, uh, iMac 27, you bought it in 2009, 2010. One of the flaws in the system, um, they'll never admit it, but it is a flaw, is this clouding that happens on these on these things. And uh, it kind of sucks because they're really nice machines and it's just a sucky flaw and of course they won't warranty it. So I'm going to show you kind of how to fix it. It's more than just behind the glass. I wish it was that easy, but it's more. So we're going to crack this open and uh, try to see if we can get that fixed. It's not for the uh, faint of heart, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, the first, th the one thing you're going to need, you're going to have some kind of suction cup. Let me see. I'm just using a makeshift one. This is actually made to take off our lights in our house, but any kind of suction cup, and that's going to remove. You just stick it on here. That's kind of hard to do with one hand, but just stick it right there. And hang on, let me see. I'm going to try to crack it on if I can with one hand. Let me see. Yeah, very easy. See? That comes right off, just like that. It comes on. It's all magnetized. Just like that. See this? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove this panel and then we're going to, of course, shut this down and uh, try to keep your fingerprints off it as much as you can. They're hard to get off, even in, you know when you use a soft cloth. You don't want to use anything but uh, one of those ones that, you know, the super soft microfiber stuff they give you with the iPads. And uh, so we're going to try to not touch stuff as much as we can. Okay, now that we have the front of our screen off, we're going to remove these little Torx 10 bolts. There's four on each side. You may have to lift this up to get to it, but there are four, okay? Now, um, do not remove the ones the Torque 10s don't fit into. On the top, there's some smaller ones here. Do not touch any of this stuff. You don't need to touch any of that, okay? So just, just you're just going to remove the side ones. Okay, now that we've uh, we've undone the screws. I want to tell you too, when you, when you take the screws out, make sure the screen is tilted backwards because it will want to uh, fall out on you if it's straight. You don't see it comes right out like that. There's four things you have to disconnect. Um, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, there's a little one here. See that? You've got a smaller one right there. See those little stripe things that go around? There's two of them. The one on the right is the one you have to disconnect. And then you've got this big fat band and there's one right there. They're very easy to take out. You don't got to force it. If you're tugging on it, you're doing something wrong. So take your time, undo these four things, and then it's nice if you can have someone help you hold the screen. It makes it a lot easier, especially if you're doing it for the first time. But that's what you're going to want to take out. Okay, those four things. So let's, I'm going to undo them, and then we're going to pull the screen out. Okay, now we have our uh, cover off, and I want to show you the, the pieces. Okay, so this was one strap right here. Okay, that one goes to the monitor. There's another one right here. Okay, this one just falls right in. Don't be pulling or you know pushing on anything when you put this back together either. There's one that slides in here, and there's one at the top up here. See this right here? That falls right here. This one's a little tricky. This just goes right in. Don't be pulling. Like I said, it's very delicate, and I don't want anybody coming on here and saying, "Oh man, I screwed my stuff up because I yanked on it." You shouldn't be yanking on anything. Okay, now we have this. The reason why these screens cloud up is because they get dust in them. And it's a flaw because I don't know how they direct the dust or whatever. But you'll see these things right here are just packed full of dust. This whole thing will be, was like just coated in dust in here. And there's another one over here. So get yourself one of these. You know, you can get them anywhere. Dust blower. And get in there. Boom. Hit those. Now, these are already clean. But, and you're going to want to get everything. Just get this thing in there, you know. Get this thing wherever it needs to go. Just work around the board. Do it until you stop seeing dust. This thing, I mean, I poured out so much dust out of this, it was silly. So that's the first part you want to do before you put anything back together. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Get down in here, too. Like, I mean, you can see, get down in here. Just Like I said, make sure when you're done, you know there's no dust in this thing. So you, you guys are smart enough to figure that out. Okay, now that we have this thing flipped over, this is what it looks like. We're going to need to remove these screws right here okay these kind of hold this they kind of hold everything together here so we're going to remove those okay there's just work around you'll see where they are i mean you know you just work yourself around this thing you'll see these little torque screws so we're going to remove those we're also going to trim like see this foil right here this foil we need to cut you'll see between the glass like the this you'll see this like little piece of metal right here we're gonna have to get a razor blade and just trim this right here Okay, and that's why we're going to have our own foil to seal this thing back up. It sounds crazy, but it's really not. It should be very easy. Okay, now that we have, um, I've, I've trimmed, see I've cut, I sliced this right here. Real simple with a razor blade. You don't have to peel anything off. There's, four, there's some screws in here. We're going to take, um, we're going to take this, this piece off right here. It pulls right off, okay? So, be careful. 
you need this, do not mess this up, okay? And you're gonna just lightly pull this stuff off, and there might, it looks like there's, see, it looks like there's a screw in here that we're gonna have to get to, and there's probably one right here, okay? So you got four total, four that have to come out, okay? Okay, now that I have this, I have the four bolts out, do not pull on this thing. You're gonna be tempted to just yank it up. Okay, you work out the bottom. See, I just, I've kind of left the tape on there so I can reuse it, okay? And on the top, you'll see right here, see this right here? It looks like it's solid. That's actually a piece of tape that we're gonna cut. Okay, you're gonna do a slice, cut, all the way through so we can get this metal piece off. Okay, you see these little things right here? These are pry holes. So what you wanna do, if I can hold this, this is hard to do with one hand, by the way. Okay, is, just work your thing. Don't force it, and it, there it goes. It just unlocked. So you're just gonna, there's about, just work your way around here, and all of these right here, okay, they'll work themselves out. Okay, so we're gonna remove this outer frame. This is what we're gonna remove, the metal outer frame. Okay, I wanna show you, this is another screen I have, but I wanna show you, because it's hard to see, like here's one, see it has these like L brackets on there that actually hold it into the iMac. Those are gonna be on yours, but here's one without it, because they're hard to see where the side pry marks are. I wanna show you where they are in relative. This is the upper part, see? Okay, so they're right under the bolt on this one, and they're right over the bolt on that one. Okay. Okay. We've got to pry. One thing too I wanted to tell you guys is when you're actually doing the prying part, you want to keep it up on its end. See, I got it, I got it up like this. So work your way around. Now remember, I'm going to say this again. You are not prying anything on this side. Do not, because you will ruin this thing. Okay. That it, it it's going to pivot off that. So we're going to just we need to make sure that we're really careful. Okay. I've just broke it loose, and you can see. That look, the frame, see that? That's what we're taking off. Just the metal. So we're taking out the metal frame. It'll pop right off. You'll be able to pop it right back on. Okay, now we're ready for the cleaning process. And uh, I would try to do it dry if you can at first. Um, if you can't, you know, you're gonna wanna, you wanna use like one of these Phillips, I don't know, or any kind of LCD screener, cleaner, clean screen. Don't use anything like uh, glass cleaner, because those are kind of abrasive. So uh, yeah, these microfiber, these were like $2.99 at Best Buy. You can go down there and get them anytime. They're real soft. And uh, anyway, so what we're gonna do is these little these little tape things here, those are actually for pulling up the screen. See that? Okay, remember we told you it hinges on the front? Be very careful here. Okay, I'm gonna do this with one hand. But you'll see, okay, here we go. Boom, that's how it opens up. There I am. Okay, real nice light. There it is, okay? And what we're gonna do is you can see some of the clouding down here. See that? That's in the screen, that's what we're looking at here. And it's up here on this thing too, I can see it. You can kind of see it, see it right there? Yeah, so we're gonna clean all that. We're gonna take this and let's just see what happens. So there's a soft side to this, see this? There's two sides to it, there's that side and there's just this side. I would imagine that this side's the side that cleans it. Okay, so real. let's not get any fingerprints on there. Let's just fold like this, we get some traction. Real nice light. Okay, let's just go from Oops. Let's just do it nice and easy. We shouldn't need any kind of see, just there's some right there, some of dust. Okay, take our time. Don't press hard. You don't you don't need to press hard. Kind of overdoing it here. We'll do one final swoop. I don't want to get these. Look at all that. Sorry, that was horrible camera work. But to me, it looks like all that clouding's gone. Now we're going to go up to here, and we're just going to light lightly. Don't press hard on it. Okay, this is where all that clouding was. See that? Real nice. Okay, now that we've got our screen cleaned and uh, we've got everything going, you'll see that there's an upside and a downside to this. You're just going to pop it right back on. It's kind of hard for me to do this with one hand, so I'm probably going to have to break and just show you. But you'll see this is going real nice and easy. You're not forcing anything. If you're forcing something, something's wrong because it's just snapping right in. I mean, it's just falling right back in. See how that clicked in? That's it. That's not. That's all you're getting into. You know, so you're not going to want to see that. It just it just pops right back on. So. Pop that thing back on, and then 
Before we do any more, we're going to go over and test it to make sure that we don't have any dust behind the glass or the clouds still aren't there. So, okay, we'll move on to that phase next. Okay, so we're all plugged in here. Um, I've just got a temporary temporarily put in because we're going to take it back out we're going to seal this dude up as best we can um, so let's let's do the magic here let's flip the power switch let's turn it on and uh, I did it. yeah there it goes okay and here's the white screen no more clouding and we've got the beautifulness of our original iMac 27 all fixed okay now I've gone I've uh, I finished up you know, we know we know it works, we know it's all cleaned out, so now we got to seal it up real good. And you want to go down, you want to get some of this foil tape. Uh, it's uh, pretty cheap, I mean, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe. And you want to go through the whole edge, you can see I did here. I sealed this thing up pretty good, probably better than it was actually before. Um, like if, if something gets in there now, I have no idea how dust would be getting in there now, but... So, you want to seal it up all the way through, you know, and these little heat, I think these, are, these little pads, I kind of replaced them to make sure that they're... But that's sealed up, so we'll get it back in there now that it's all sealed up, and hopefully this will be the last time we have to do this, so we'll get it back in there. Okay, so we're back, and we got everything in, got the screen clean, we got everything taped up real good in the back, and uh, you know what? Uh, I think we're in luck here. Let's see, I'll stretch this out so you guys can see it. Let's just see if we're going to do this right. And look, all the clouds gone, nothing. Just like brand new, not a glitch in it. So, you know, doing this yourself, it's gonna cost you about 20 bucks of material if you don't have foil tape and some kind of glass cleaner. You take this in the Apple store, you can bet on spending about seven, about 100 bucks at least, plus tax for a uh, monitor, and then they're gonna charge you, I don't know, they'll probably tack on some more money for labor. This thing, do it yourself, you can do it, just take your time. I got about a half hour into it, and uh, maybe a little bit more. If you take your time and do it right, you can do it yourself, so do it yourself. There it is. Finally, the fix for the clouding on the I, or for the 27-inch iMax. Boom.